Hey everybody, it's Banana Slime, here with another episode of Stranded Custom Minecraft Survival. Oops, <laughs> I've accidentally hit the key. And today, well, I'm not sure what we're going to do today, I felt like exploring a little. Uh, but something I want to tell you, I've been doing a whole bunch of work on this. I've sorted out my chests and all, and I've been getting a ton of cobble. Well, here's my original cobble chest completely full, and my other cobble test partway full. Uh, yeah, I've been doing a whole bunch of mining and drilling and stuff. Oh, but I'm hungry. But as you can see, I've kind of cleared out my inventory, so I'd be ready for an adventuring expedition. Oh, also, uh, those two maps, I killed my cow in my farm. I really should have bred it and got more cows, but I decided to kill it because I was excited. I wanted to get some leather so that I could put up my two maps. The two maps that PS gave me at the very, well, yeah, that PS gave me at the very beginning of the series in my spaceship. So, let's go down and check. Oh, and also, the uh, grass has gone through here, and I need to get rid of that line of grass over there. And I'm delivering it to saying I'll, over there, I'll show you in a minute. So, let's look at the, what? What is this madness? What? What is this madness? There, I got two maps at the beginning of the series. This one, and this one. And suddenly there's this one, 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 this one. All of these. What the heck is happening here? PS has given me some maps. Uh, wow, it's actually quite nice. You can see the entire complex. The house, the thing I'm going to show you in a minute. The crash site and the place where 1.8 screws up the world and makes that really ugly line. So that's pretty unfortunate, but it's pretty cool. And there's my little animal farm and a little extension I'm making and all my sugar cane. That's pretty neat. Oh, and that's another new building I'm gonna make. Actually, I need to reload that thingy real quick. Sorry for... what? where'd the map go? How did you get over here, map? How did you get over here, Mr. Map? Derpy map. Uh, yeah, that's a new building I have started working on, but let's see. A day is nice. That's the new building I'm working on, and this is the massive waste of wood. Dun, 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 dun! You may be thinking, banana slime, you just spawned in all of that wood. Well, no, I can't do that. Only PS can spawn in stuff. I spent like six hours just pun eh, hitting trees with my iron axe, getting all this wood. Uh, so yeah, it's pretty nice. I need a better way to go down. I was inspired by Think Noodle's uh, pit thingy that he has. I'm going to have a hallway there. I'm going to have a nether portal here. I'm going to do it 3 by 3 because of the size of this place. And you may be asking, what's all this dirt scaffolding for? Well, I plan on moving my entire farm, well, no, all my animals, down into the magical animal land. Beautiful, right? I've spent some time digging this thing out also. I'm going to line the walls of light blue wool so it looks like the sky so the animals won't get upset. And I'm going to have glowstone and everything. It's going to be all nice. And I've got my infinite water source for when I make the nether portal. But yeah, and I need to get that uh, grass down here. So as you can expect, well, where are those particles? Uh, I think my Minecraft glitched out for a second there. Uh, but yeah, as you can expect, it's going to be a while till the grass gets all the way down here. But, yeah, I built all of this after hours and hours and hours of work because I, unlike some of you guys, I have absolutely no life at all. Yay! So, let's go see, eh, let's go check out the magical PS chest that PS uses to give us our messages and items and stuff. And as you can see, I'm not even trying to farm anymore. I have so many resources. This farm is just, I i barely even need any more. I have stacks of, uh, I have like 10 stacks of cocoa beans, like three, uh, like two or three stacks of wheat. I get like three stacks of wheat whenever I completely empty out that farm when it's done building. <laughs> yeah. And it would appear we have two books. Let's take the first one. And he has dropped nothing new in the crate. Let's look. Mwahahahahahahaha! Lol, 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 lol. 
as you may have seen. I built a little map for you. Oh yeah, I saw that. That's pretty nice, P.S. If you look in the bottom right corner, you will see some orange dots. Those are pumpkins! Well, honestly, pumpkins? Bottom right corner, uh... Oh, right here. The, see those little orange dots right near my clicker? All those little orange dots, those are the pumpkins. Pretty cool. But, yeah, what's important about those pumpkins? Today, you are to go on a quest to collect all of those pumpkins so you can make your third farm. If you look, if you have some time after that, look at the second book. P.S. Wow, so P.S. has gotten us, eh, given us an exploration mission. That's great. I wanted to explore. Uh, yeah. Over the last, like, two hours of playing Minecraft, building that thing over there, it advanced from here. I had to put dirt in front of my door so it could, it could transfer it to here. It transferred from this block to that block. Ooh, I think it went one farther. So, yeah, that's pretty cool. I'm gonna... It's gonna take literally forever. But eventually I'm gonna get dirt down... Eh, eh, stuff down there. Maybe I'll even build, put this farm under the ground. Uh... So I don't want to head off until the morning, because it would be a tragedy to be out there at night. I'll need to get a bed. So I'll just show you some other stuff. Still, that dark oak sapling hasn't grown. I think it has to be in a snow biome. That's the sad thing. Uh, and Doc the Treyoris over there, he hangs out over near that dead bush, like literally 24-7. I'm going to have to build him a house over there. I'm going to put his house over there because he obviously doesn't like the farming sack I made him. He really wants to live over in that area. And over here, I'm going to have a new building, mostly dark blue wool and some light blue in this little thing here. And I'm planning on having a huge window right here. So it'll be a huge panoramic view of the jungle, which will be pretty beautiful. And eventually the rest of the city. I plan on not having really any huge buildings in front of it. I don't know what I'm going to do with that. But I'm not sure about this color scheme. I'm really more into light colors, but the dark colors aren't too bad. Uh, I think I'm going to stick with this. I've got, This is how all the light blue is going to look. I've, I'm going to fill up the rest of this with dark blue wool. And I think that'll be a nice building. I'm not 100% sure. Leave any comments below if you have any ideas of how this building could take shape. Oh, I should probably put one more dark blue wool here to kind of even it out. Because... Yeah, it needs one more here. Uh, and Treyoris is just hanging out. I'm going to have to build him like a laboratory. And yeah, when I completely empty this farm, I get about three, two to three stacks of wheat if all of this is grown. And when this is grown, I typically get about 60 cocoa beans after replanting everything. Uh, yeah, it's a pretty sweet farm. It I've gone pretty overboard. And as you can see... As you can tree, all my trees are out there. Uh, and it's almost nighttime, so I'm just going to waste a little more time showing you some stuff. That's eventually going to be like a plaza over there, maybe like a uh, little area. And here is my seeps farm. I got the orange, I got the blue, I got the light blue, I got the grays, the whites, the blacks, the dark grays. Actually, I'm not sure if I have any black seep. I don't think I have any. Actually, I think I have one. But to my calculation, those pumpkins will be right over past the mountain. Think Noodles has this extreme hills biome here, and he never really goes into it, so I don't know the terrain very well from his videos, well, at all. And as you can see, the Derpin 1.8 terrain generation changed it so that it goes straight from an extreme hills biome to a plains biome. Yay! That makes total sense. But from what I see from the picture, I'm going to have to go around this huge mountain. I'm going to probably go around snaking through there and get there. Uh, it's just about nighttime. I'm going to go take a sleep, and we'll go in the morning. This is going to be the ultimate quest, guys. I'm trying to think of anything else I'll need. I have the 19 torches, uh, sword, pick, sears in case I run across any seeps, even though... Actually, no, I don't want the sears. Uh, I don't want to lose them. Axe, I'll keep it just in case. Uh, ooh, I know. I'll have to take my last bed. Uh, my other bed that I have from my miscellaneous... Where's my bed? Uh, here we are. 
Uh, so now I'm going to have an extra bed in case it decides to be night. Here's my wool chest. As you can see, a lot of wool. And here is the mystical chest of stuff, of living stuff. As you can see, all these cocoa beans, all these seeds, all this bread, all these cookies. I cooked some steak, all this wheat, and the paper I was using to trade uh, with Dr. Treoris at the beginning of the series. Uh, it made way too much. Uh, well... Eh, I might unlock his train and it won't be too much, uh, paper. But yeah, are you ready for The Great Pumpkin Quest featuring Banana Slime? Well, we're gonna have to go into the Great Unknown, which is, one, really mysterious, and two, a type of Pokemon that nobody really likes. Well, some people like them. I kind of like unknowns because they're so mysterious. Uh, anybody who own eh, who works for my eh, Game Freak is watching, don't sue me for talking about Pokemon, please. Uh, so yeah, there's the outside of my farm. I use that uh, those dirt stairs to get my animals in. We'll just uh, lure them in so they'll fall in. And that's gonna be a new extension. But I don't even know why I'm trying to make a new extension. I haven't even feel, gotten even close to filling up the old extension. Hello, pigs. Uh, but yeah, this is the ultimate quest for pumpkins, bruh. Uh, and I'm sorry I haven't been posting lately. I have been very busy with schoolwork and stuff. I assume in the years coming, schoolwork's going to get even harder. Yep, the Derpy 1.8 yeah, train generation. Well, the train generation isn't derpy. It's just that it cut off all the stuff before. Actually, it's 1.7 train generation, I'm pretty sure. There's some lava, but I don't need any because <laughs> the crash site's filled with lava. And the crash site's radioactive, so I can't really take any of the iron stuff from it. But to my, by my calculations, the, uh, the lava in my spaceship crash should be de uh, uh, not radioactive within a few days, hopefully. I'm not quite sure exactly the time, but to my calculations, the pumpkins should be over here. Uh, guys, actually, I think I might have been wrong. Derp it, I did not find the pumpkins. There they are! I am such a major derp. They were right there all along. There's an item frame on it. Uh, I'm kind of worried to see what this is going to say. Wait, I can't read it. Wow. Seriously, P.S.? Gosh darn it, P.S. Okay, that that was kind of mean. Well, not really mean, just wow. P.S., what's going through your head, bruh? Don't kill me because I said that. Oh my gosh. But <laughs> yeah, I can imagine. Eventually, in a few, like, hundred episodes, when I completely fill up the desert with stuff, I'm gonna be able to come over here and make it continue the town and all my creations over in this area. It's gonna be, like, the biggest city ever, hopefully. Unless, like, my Darp in Minecraft breaks or something, or something destroys the world, or the world gets corrupt, or... I need to figure out how to back up my world in case something like that happens. Uh, how many pumpkins did I get? I got all twelve. Is there any more? Uh, no, wait, what's that? OMG, I found a village. Oh, yeah. Making a mental note of that right now. Gotta get a uh, map and clock that in so I'll know there's a village there. Uh, hopefully, uh, maybe PS will do that. Now, he's giving me so many maps, he's probably not that nice. Well, he's nice. He's given me a good amount of stuff, though he did trap me on this planet. Uh, but yeah, we can do it, guys. We got the pumpkins, and I am getting hungry. I got a cookie. Mm-mm-mm. Cookie clickers in Minecraft. That's an old show. Uh, well, actually, that was just one episode that I did, cookie clickers in Minecraft. Uh, you can look at my videos. It was one of my first videos, but it was the first video I did that I was actually proud of. When you start YouTube, you look at your first two or three videos and you're like, really? Did I really make that? And that's how I was. I was like, really? Did I really make that? My videos are total, like, like, horse doo-doo. 
Uh, for those who don't like cussing, it's my videos are total horse doo doo at the beginning. Uh, but after that, I advanced and I got better, and now I'm making moderately good videos. Yeah! Hooray, moderately good videos! Uh, and eventually, that moderately good videos will evolve into good videos, and eventually, good videos will evolve into great videos. But yeah, I actually expected this to take a good amount of time longer. Uh, I haven't, uh, I haven't like gone to my sugarcane farm and uh, broke it since like episode two or three. So uh, that was actually a lot better than I thought. I expected that was gonna be a really hard missing. I was gonna have to go for like a day or two. Let me just set all the stuff that I don't need down. I do not want to build a snowman paper. The item frame, I'm going to have to save that for later. I really like item frames. They're great for stuff. Uh, bed, I don't need you. Uh, so, yeah, that went a good amount better than I expected it to. I actually expected it was going to be like a really long like half an hour episode. Uh, but, yeah, I'm going to have to build a good old pumpkin farm now. And I'll probably have that out by tomorrow, uh, by next episode, bleh, because I get so much off-camera work done. But while I still have you guys, let's go update the map. Uh, the pumpkins are here, and let's look. And the pumpkins are not. Oh yeah, I think I have to be in that sunk. So I'll get you eventually, Mr. Pumpkins. I'll update you soon. Uh, so yeah, as you can see, the city's turning out pretty nice. I think I'm going to call it Stranded City. But yeah, what did you think about the massive waste of wood? How, uh, I literally used about six or seven stacks of logs. Like, six hours of cutting down trees. Like, uh, I'm, I probably sound like a hypocrite right now. I've said, like, I have so much, I've ran out of time so much. Uh, well, I've had so little time because of schoolwork, yet I'm saying I did, like, six hours of tree stuff. But, yeah, what I did was, like, I played for five minutes cutting down trees, and I did homework for 20 minutes. Five minutes of cutting down trees, 20 minutes of homework. Five minutes of cutting down trees, 20 minutes of homework. So it kind of added up eventually over the past almost two weeks. As I promised, I... Uh, post weekly, but I kind of failed you guys there. I'm sorry about that. Uh, but hopefully I'll be able to get back on a weekly basis. And so yeah, now we've sat on the bench and I've told you my story of how I am not a hypocrite. Uh, also, new videos are coming out soon, not just Minecraft. Uh, I've got several new games. Uh, probably Turbo Dismount and Goat Simulator. Those both went on Steam, uh, on sale on Steam. Uh, for Mac in the last week or so, so I got both of those. So yeah, that's gonna be a pretty good deal. Uh, some other games, and expect more top ten lists on the way, cause I can't wait to do more of those. I'm working on one right now. Hint, hint uh, here's a hint. It's about North Korea. But yeah, uh, uh, so yeah, I don't really have too much to say except also. I'm planning a new series that's not Minecraft related it's, and not top 10 related. Well, kind of top 10 related. It's facts. It, well, it's a fact series. And it's about saying, like, the first idea I ever had about making internet videos about, like, two or three years ago. An idea jumped into my head and I was like, that sounds like a good idea. So expect that to come soon. And tell me what you thought of the massive waste of wood and how much of a massive waste of time I did doing this such a massive waste of wood. Leave a comment on how long you think it's going to take for all of this grass to spread all the way down to the farm. And tell me what I should do next on in Stranded Survival. Uh, how, uh, and tell me, how am I going to get the animals down there? Fill it with water and just drop them or something? I'm not sure. All these things can be decided. And if you enjoyed this video, how about you leave a like, rate, and comment, and why not you subscribe and join the Slimeling Rebellion, where we rebel against the haters, the grievers, the spammers, and those who just all around destroy and mess up our gaming experience. 
Until next time, I am Banana Slime. Goodbye.